<laughs> okay, welcome back. That video was... <laughs> If Welcome you... <laughs> back to the home stretch and thank you for staying with us this far. Well, we have a very interesting artist of the week today mm -hmm. and he is T.G. Omori and he is the raving music video director mm -hmm. of the moment. He has created music videos for so many celebrities ranging from Tiwa Savage to Olamide to YC, to Maya Okun, to Rude Boy, to Tenny, mm -hmm. and many others. Thank God Omori Jesa. That's his real okay, name. Okay, that's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the youngest video makers in Nigeria. And he has, I mean, he was born in 1995, hails from Cross River State in Nigeria. Mm. He has shot videos for many top celebs, mm. as you saw. So we just played Tenny's latest video. Mm. Hey, let, let him, in fact, well, welcome. Let's, let's, let's welcome you officially. <laughs> welcome, you TJ Omori. Is it me that if you were talking to him? Uh, like the whole hype was so much for me already. Oh, okay. Did you say anything that <laughs> like, was wrong? No, okay. the whole hype was too much for me. Okay, saying, so you didn't do all those things? <laughs> no, I did. They're all true, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're just cool behind just, the cameras. No, yeah. Humble. <laughs> Very humble TG is with us this morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we would like to say welcome, but um, just before we continue with this conversation, you know the elections are going on and mm -hmm. we need to get updates on what What's happening in Kogi Dare Idowu? Hello, Dare. What's up? in Bayelsa. Of course, uh, we have a, a team in Kogi as well. Where I am at the moment is a P3 and it's in Yonegua. It's a very busy field. If you go around, you will see so many units. Of course, um, earlier in the day, we reported that the electoral officers didn't come in early. And um, when they came in, they had to eat the ground running. They had to set up, and the setup didn't take a, take them time. After the setting up, people started voting. Uh, they had a little bit of problem with uh, crowd control uh, because of the fact that people were already waiting uh, for them to come in. And as soon as they uh, 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 were able to set up, it got on with the business of the day. Um, let me also uh, paint a particular scenario, which is a very good perspective around here. Yenagua has the highest voting population. Well, um, there, se uh, there seems to be um, a, a situation around here. Uh, if the camera can basically view that, there seems to be an altercation between two men and someone is trying to... Uh, because we've been having a, a few of this kind of situation and since the INEC officials came in, that's because of the fact that before they came in, people were already kind of agitated, uh, waiting for them to, to come. Uh, uh, but we hope that the um, uh, security operators will uh, put that under, under control. Okay, as I was saying earlier, uh, one thing that is quite important about Yenegua is that it adds the highest number of the voting population in Bayosa State. And uh, that is why you will see the influx of people around here. Uh, the, the situation is still on. Uh, 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 the, the, it, that doesn't seem to be under control just yet. Uh, and um, we are also getting reports from other places. The reports are not so good, uh, but not so bad. Uh, voting is on the way. It started late, but uh, INEC officials, uh, uh, I think they're uh, in charge of that because observers are not quite um, happy, so to say, with the way the conduct has been, but they've praised the police. Uh, they said so far they haven't heard of any kind of situation that would warrant them to score the police low on this exercise so far. Uh, back to your studio. Thank you so much, Dari, for that uh, update. Um, just um, keep safe wherever you are, and uh, we'll surely come back to you in the course of our election studios. Um, back to the studio here. So we have TG Omori. Hmm. He said he's a gentle, he's a gentle guy, you know. Okay, gentle giant. Yeah. <laughs> so, you are a music producer, you know, uh, video, video director. director. Okay, so you, that video we saw of Tenny and um, his brother Shaggy. Shaggy yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be a billionaire? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I shared that video. I, I think I shared that video two weeks ago. Okay, um, I just wanted. Already? Yeah, I just wanted to. I just wanted to create something mind blowing. Yeah, too. Because the song, when Tony, when Tony hit me up for the video, the song was big already. I was like, the least I can do is to bless this song with a, a nice video. Yeah, so. So the I concept. Just, yeah. Um, the concept, I spoke to Tony and she was like, oh, I think um, it's going to be mad if we do, if we try this once to be a millionaire thing. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I think we should do it. It's going to be sick. Unfortunately, so, the, that program is not who wants to be a billionaire. It's a millionaire, exactly. <laughs> so we, I told her, okay, we are going to finesse this. We spoke and thought of how to spice it up. So we suggested on bringing in Frank Edo back because people, he owns the show. <laughs> so we had to bring, we had to beg Frank to come <laughs> back on, to come back on the show. Also, I had to get Brother Shaggy on it, and we just... And that's the rib-cracking part of it. <laughs> 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 so, when you create these music videos, is it based on what the artists want, or what, um, after you've gotten the brief, what your creativity, you know, has woken up to? I mean, most times I do most of the um, ideas, but at the same time, I try to get my artists to also share what, because I mean, they own the song, they own the brand, they know what inspired them to do the music. So sometimes I want to also hear from them, again, okay, because they, they understand their brand better. I'm just a creative person that is set to spice up. Or so if they don't have a brand already, or they don't have an idea of why they probably they just made the song, then I could just bring in everything. But if they already had an idea, it's just for us to spice it up. If I feel like it's not going to work, I'm going to let them know that, yo, sorry, this idea doesn't work for me. I can't do it again. So that's, that's how it's done. Talk us through how you went into um, music videos. Um, I used to, I've always wanted to be an actor when I was much more younger. I've always wanted to be an actor. So in between these times, I went to a film school for like, yeah, for like two years, study performing arts. So I wanted to be an actor. So I was doing stage acting and the likes. But yeah, the hustle of an actor, man, wasn't. It's real. <laughs> it was real, stressful, man. And the, the pay wasn't encouraging, too. So I was looking around, who actually makes money from this industry? I think these director guys are making money from this industry. So I had to fit myself into directing. Mm -hmm. So basically, I felt like I was. I've always been a creative person. I could fit myself into any creative field and still, and still succeed mm. again. Because I feel like everything is just about creativity. Being a stage actor, being a journalist, being a writer, being an actor, being a director, everything still boils down to your success or your, your growth is going, to determine, is going to be determined by how creative you are, you get so that's. I just felt like okay, if I fit into this thing, level with my level of creativity, I think I'm gonna make some cool money. So where does this creativity <laughs> come I'm for you? Some cool money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so where does this creativity come for you? Um, I mean, if you live in Nigeria, you should be creative. <laughs> if you live in Africa, I don't see why you shouldn't be creative. Because Africa, Africa is home to art. Everything about us is artistic. The suffer to the suffering and everything is artistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like sometimes the laughter is the laughter, the happiness, the happy people. Africa in general is, is enough to inspire you to create. Yeah, so I feel like everybody should be creative. Mm, I guess I this... don't feel like it's a superpower. So <laughs> people make me feel like it's a superpower. But I feel like your environment is strong enough to make you creative. Okay, I guess this hairstyle is part of the creativity. <laughs> yes, I guess so. Okay, we'll just take a quick break, and when we come back, you'll be telling us you've said that um, you make, you know, the, you, go, you smile to the bank. Uh, you know, we would like to know more about that when we come back. Please stay with us. Okay, welcome back. Um, uh, just before that break, I was saying that we'll talk about, you know, the smiling to the bank part. But let me quickly talk about this video that, that, that we saw. I saw that the lady in the video, you know, at least she, she's got some, she's you know, <laughs> clothing on. Most videos that we see, we see that uh, women are, you know, identification of women, it's more in the 
um, no, semi... Let's, no, let's say in, in, in various stages of undress. Okay, so let's be nice uh, what's, what's different with this? Is this part of your own, you know, idea that this is what you want or... The, I mean, but most times, yeah, the kind of music, because, okay, I mean, this most of these artists are hip-hop artists, and most times hip-hop music entails of women, money, drugs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so women, money. money drugs. Okay, so yeah. in the videos, we also see men. Exactly. And the men, men like the guy is going to wear his trousers, he has a T-shirt, mm -hmm. he has another shirt on it yeah. and then the ladies i mean because you know some people find nudity as art some people find it artistic some people True. feel like yeah some True. people see art and nudity so sometimes it boils down to how it's portrayed sometimes even the ladies themselves even even people that are not models normal women go to the beach and want to enjoy the natural fresh air and everything okay, so and, they, and they still take pictures and post on the ground okay so these artistic views are not yeah. seen in men no, you know I mean, wearing boxes men, and... men, there are some videos where men are are just with shirtless to show their biceps and everything so i, I mean i'm not i'm the six pack you're yeah, not you're yeah, not a it's judge not like, it's not like i'm a judge but i feel like it's art so there's freedom to create mm, so okay. Anything that suits, I have videos that, that are like 50% of my videos are clean and there are some. It's not like I have issues with it or I don't have issues. It boils down to what we're trying to, what we're trying to sell or what we're trying to, the Express. message we're trying to pass across. Okay. Now, uh, let's say somebody comes to you now with a song that wants you to do a video. Mm -hmm. uh, do you discuss the ideas for the video with him? Yeah. Or he just gives you a free hand? Sometimes. They give me a free hand. Sometimes I have to discuss the idea so the person will... Either means I have to tell you what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So you be prepared when you're coming on set, so you know the kind of hair to carry or how to even carry yourself. So either way, I'm going to tell the ideas, but there's some people that are free-handed, like they'll be like, yo, take money, do your thing. I think like the likes of Naira Mali and the likes... Anytime I walk in, it's always like, yo, Magic, take, let's do this. Yeah, I, most of his videos, so that's oh. how it's done. Okay, quickly, because we are, we are going to, you know, round this off uh, now. Um, what's obtainable in the industry, you know, in terms of, do you demand for royalty or are you entitled for it uh, as, uh, as a music director? Most times, yeah. Um, I think that's, that's the structure we're trying to, f we're trying to fix because most times we get paid off like one off yeah okay like just pay you to do it and the artist has 100 percent right to the video you get so like the pay your your service charge covers for everything you don't have the rights over the video so after you've given them a lot then yes because they yeah. can do whatever they want with after it after it yes exactly wow. so no wonder you're smiling all the way to the <laughs> 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 Thank you DG so much. DG Omori. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for having wish me. Wish you all the best. Yep. Thank you so much. Mm, what's the next video coming up? Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm telling. <laughs> exactly. Because I don't know if the artist is ready to announce that. <laughs> oh, okay. But okay. I, have, I have a lot of fire coming. Great. Fire. Before Fire. Christmas okay. or after Christmas? Before Christmas and after mm. Christmas. So we're all looking forward to some hot videos mm. for Christmas. <laughs> yep. Thank you, TG. Thank you so very much. TG Omori, uh, music video director. Yeah. And that wraps up Sunrise for this morning. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'm Alero Edu, wishing you a very happy weekend indeed. See you next week. And I'm Jomi Otaigbe. Stay tuned. The Bayelsa Koge uh, election studio is opening right after now. Thank you so much for staying with us. Bye. Bye-bye.